welcome to this week's episode of Style Sessions, where we talk about the latest and greatest in fashion trends. So since today is the first day of spring, and the warm weather hopefully has finally started to arrive everywhere, we've it's decided... It's snowing here. It's been snowing for the past, like, four hours. Oh, like, oh really? Oh, I am so angry. But oh, I'm well, angry. okay, so for everyone but the East Coast, spring has <laughs> arrived, and we've decided to talk about some of our favorite spring trends. So first, we're going to talk about the latest white-on-white -white trend, which is really popular. Finally, whip out your white pants and throw on a white top with it. So what do you think about this trend? I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so cool and so fun. And, like, most people usually, myself included, lean towards the black-on-black -black look. But I think that the white-on-white -white is, like, a really great way to go for the spring. I mean, I still will stick to my black on black, but just to like have that option of like, you know, a white top with, you know, a cute pair of white ripped jeans and, you know, a, a white, you know, plain converse, I think is just so chic. Mm -hmm. I love it. I absolutely love white jeans, especially like distressed white jeans. I There's just something about them. I feel like you could wear them with anything. And plus, like you said, I am huge with black on black, especially in the winter, but it it has the tendency to wash you out too, so that's kind of nice about whites. It can really like brighten bright you up. Yeah. Yeah. So Love it. that's our first, and then our second trend that we are going to talk about is the gingham. So, what do you think of this new '90s look? Gingham is my favorite. I don't like for everyone who knows me. Clueless is literally my favorite movie on the planet. <laughs> I've seen it far too many times to count. Um, and I just love that checkered look. It reminds me of everything Cher Horowitz, and I just, it's so cute. It's so 90s, and I'm so glad, you know, the 90s have been on in full swing for the past, like, year or two. I'm all yeah. about it. The 90s are everywhere, and I'm not, I hated it when it was the 90s, but now I'm digging it. I think it's rocking the fashion world, but it's kind of nice that it's a change from all the plaid, too. It's like a different variation of it, the checkered, and I think it's uh, nice that we can, like, switch it up a bit, because I own far too much flannel anyways, but... God, my yeah. closet is full of it. I know, so it's a new hot trend, and we both love it. So then the next trend we're going to talk about is the trench. So these are everywhere. I walked into Forever 21 the other day, and I... They had trench coats in, like, every single color, like, long sweaters. Some of them I couldn't even tell what they're – it was just crazy. <laughs> Have you seen a lot of them? <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. Like, um, I, I work in the I, – I live in New York, and I work in the city, and um, I – my coworkers always talk about how, like, New York is, like, the runway of the world or, like, really weird things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, I totally agree with them when it comes to, like, clothing and being on trend you can always find everything in New York and literally every professional woman I see is either wearing a trench or a duster and I'm obsessed they're mm -hmm. so cute you can wear them with literally anything like even if you're you know a mom a stay-at-home mom like running around um getting your kids stuff all day like in jeans and like a pair of uh, sneakers, like, you still look cute if you're wearing a trench coat. It's really weird, but it works for some reason, and I just love how versatile it is. Yeah, I agree. It is really versatile. I feel like you can wear it with anything, and especially, like you said, dresses or just jeans or to look fancy at work or just, like, to brighten up or fancy up a casual outfit. Mm -hmm. Plus, I feel like it's a sure sign of spring when you can whip out your trench coat because you don't have to do it. Like, temperature-wise. <laughs> so, yeah, they're pretty ideal for this time of year, and I love them. Mm -hmm. But the last fashion item or trend we want to talk about is military green, which is everywhere, and I'm obsessed. So I probably owe far too many things in this mm -hmm. color. And I couldn't even tell you my obsession with it, but I just I really enjoy it, especially jackets. I have a few, which is unnecessary in this color, and I love them in fall and in spring, so I think it's really nice that they can work both ways. Yeah, so, yeah. I love military greens. Like, I like you can wear them in them. Um, cargo pants. Oh, nice, yes. <laughs> I mean, car cute cargo pants are really hard to find. <laughs> I'll put that out there, but, like, if you found them, like, 
that's a really good color to have them in, like that or a khaki. Um, yeah. And I also have an obsession with anything like army inspired. So like those army jackets that you see all over the place, I'm obsessed with them with like all the cool patches and stuff. I think they're the coolest. And I think that color itself is just like very um, universal. Like it really goes well with anything like you can wear it with khaki you can wear it with white you can wear it with black you can wear it with a color it's just mm -hmm. so it looks good with like both hair colors too because like I know a lot of like blondes hate yellow and like me sometimes I just black isn't my best color either even though I continue to wear it but like military green works with everyone's hair type everyone's coloring yeah. yeah and complexion it's kind of perfect but so yeah that one <laughs> universal color aside from like white yeah. So, I think that's it for this week's style sessions. So, make sure you guys subscribe and comment below your favorite fashion trends. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.